Okay, if you haven't watched the last video where we went through, you know, how to get an F to test um, overall significance and then a T test for the individual regression coefficients, you might just have a look at it first. But what this does now, because um, that example gave you an equation, this actually gives you data. So this is data that is showing the values of several pitching statistics for a random sample of 20 pitchers from the American League of Major League Baseball. So what we want to do is do an F test on the to see if there's overall significance. And then we want to do a um, T test based on the strikeouts while they're in pitching, and then the home runs while in pitching. Okay, so the innings pitched is going to be what we would like to predict. So what we could do is we could come up with a regression equation to predict the average number of runs, okay, the average number of runs given up per inning pitch based on, on the number of strikeouts and home runs for the inning, inning they pitched. All right, so this is pretty easy to do with Excel. Go to your data, go to your data analysis. Um, I want to do a regression. My Y is what I want to predict. So my prediction is the number of runs. And then my independent variables that I would use to predict that will be strikeouts and home runs. So that might be hard to see, but columns F and G is what I selected. I did select labels. Where do I want to output this information? I don't know. Right there is probably pretty good. We can scroll down to see it. And I think that's all I'm going to do on this one. All right, so here is my given information. A uh, couple of things, you know, certainly to note. Not a real strong correlation between these variables, but not horribly bad. Here would be my actual coefficients that if I wanted to do, ooh, didn't mean to go that color. If I did want to actually do a prediction, okay, based on the runs given up per inning pitched, um, this would be my intercept minus this value times uh, the strikeouts plus this value times the home runs. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to test the overall significance. So that would be my test statistics for overall significance for an F test. And this would be my P value. So if I'm testing this, say, based on an alpha of 0.05, which is very typical, we would reject the null because the p-value is less than alpha, and we would state there is sufficient evidence to conclude that there is a significance overall. So remember the f-test is testing the overall model. All right, now we have everything we need here, actually, for our t-stats. And so if I want to test the first coefficient, the strikeouts, that would be my test statistic. And then this would be my p-value. And once again, I would reject. And I could see there is sufficient evidence to conclude that strikeouts while they're in pitching is significant. So that is significant. And then as you can see, you're going to get the same significance here okay so again we're comparing it to 0 0.05 um, and so the p-value is less than 0 0.05 so there is sufficient evidence to conclude that home runs is a significant factor now just as you do with a simple regression where you only have one independent variable you remember kind of sort of how to talk about the slope where um, you know, that value changes per every one value, your independent variable changes. You can say the same thing with um, multiple regression. The only thing you have to be careful of is if you're saying that this would be um, how much my overall equation is changing, my prediction equation is changing, but that would be keeping all your other independent variables constant. And that's important, okay? So when you're doing prediction, you're basically saying, you know, in this case, for every 
um, value that we add to a strikeout, it's actually going down, okay, on my predictions of runs, which would make sense if they're striking people out, right? But we're holding this one constant. Same thing, if we hold the strikeouts constant and they're hitting home runs, then we would expect for the runs to go up. All right, so that's it. That's your um, F test, overall significance, and then T test, testing each of our regression coefficients. Now, the examples I've been doing have only had two independent variables. You know there can be a lot more. So I just want to make you aware of that just because this assignment just has two independent variables.